All right, thank you, Brett. A Utah mother says her family was nearly killed by an older, odorless, colorless gas. Sherlyn Watson says her body has been fighting a war against carbon monoxide poisoning, and years later, she is still sick. She shared her story with Fox 13's Nineveh Dinha, who joins us live now in studio. Nineveh. A hope and bomb Sherlyn Watson contacted us after hearing about the Salt Lake family of six who survived carbon monoxide poisoning last week. She says her family was slowly being poisoned, and Sherlyn, along with her youngest daughter, are still feeling the side effects. And we just kept getting sicker and sicker and sicker, and we didn't know why. It was the winter of 2000. Sherlyn Watson and her family had been suffering from severe headaches. But it wasn't until someone came to fix their broken water heater, they realized what was wrong. It's just a miracle that I guess that we're all alive because the, the plumber, when he found it, just his face went ashen and he said, oh my God, you should all be dead. The plumber discovered small amounts of carbon monoxide slowly seeping into the Watson home. I just felt like my head was going to explode all the time. And again, we never went to the hyperbaric chambers. Nobody ever suggested or said, this is what you guys need to do. As it turns out, the people with carbon monoxide related brain damage, many of them behave like those who have post-concussive syndrome from trauma. Dr. Linda Weaver, the medical director of hyperbaric medicine at Intermountain Medical Center in LDS Hospital, treated a Salt Lake family of six for carbon monoxide poisoning. They were finally allowed to go back home Monday night after nearly a week of hyperbaric treatment. Dr. Weaver calls it an extreme case. Uh, some people have an uneventful recovery after poisoning. But for some people... Some people have permanent brain damage and even a few have permanent heart damage. This is what a brain's fibers look like in a healthy human being. But when exposed to the colorless, odorless, tasteless gas, the fibers disintegrate and can cause brain damage. I was so depressed. Sherlyn says even now she suffers from bouts of depression and sleep deprivation. Her 12-year-old daughter had memory loss and even a learning disability. She can memorize words now. She can do a regular spelling list in school that she couldn't do before. She couldn't spell what, when, the, you know, as. She couldn't remember things. Dr. Weaver warned not everyone is as fortunate. If one is exposed to really high doses of carbon monoxide, death may ensue really before a person gets ill. And for those who do survive... My body's been through a war. That's what it feels like. But it's just been through a major war, and we're still coming out. So, Bob, what Sherlyn was saying is that there were these small amounts of carbon monoxide that was seeping through her home, and she had no idea that her and her family was, were being poisoned by this until the plumber came by to check it out. Because the symptoms were, you know, headache, nausea, yeah. but it, they weren't extreme like that and Salt Lake Family 6 that we saw. Well, and it, unless you're thinking of it, you, you may not realize where those symptoms are coming from. Exactly. Especially in light of the fact it's so simple to, uh, to prevent this from happening. It really is, and, and that's the message is that it's easy. You've got to have those CO detectors and make sure that you've got your furnace and water heater checked every year, even twice a year. Intermountain Medical Center says they treat dozens of patients every year at their facility, uh, but especially during the winter time. But when it comes to statewide, they see hundreds of these cases each year. So a lot of people fall victim to this. But again, it's really easy to prevent. We've got some tips on our website, fox13now.com. Great reminder. Yeah. Thanks so much, Nina.